Conduct a thorough extraoral and intraoral examination, both visually and manually, palpating all of the structures of the head, neck, and intraoral mucosal surfaces. Ensure that the patient is wearing the safety glasses provided with the system. You are now ready to repeat the intraoral examination, this time using Velscope VX. Begin by covering the Velscope VX handpiece with a Velsheath VX. The Velsheath VX is a single-use, disposable plastic barrier used to enhance asepsis and minimize the risk of patient-to-patient cross-contamination. The Velsheath VX has been designed specifically for the Velscope VX handpiece with cutouts on the top to help ensure that the clinician and patient side optics and the air grills are not covered. Next, attach a Velcap VX. The Velcap VX is a protective single-use disposable lens cover. Velcaps must be changed between patients to ensure asepsis, to prevent cross-contamination, to minimize fogging, and to protect the Velscope VX's sophisticated optics. Hold the Velcap VX by the rim. Position it parallel to the front face of the unit and gently engage the paper tabs into the groove on the outside of the handpiece. Make sure that the Velcap VX window is parallel to the face of the unit. Do not apply excessive force and avoid touching the clear plastic window. Before you begin, minimize ambient light to the extent you are able. Turn off the dental operating light. It's a good idea, if possible, to turn off operatory lights, lower blinds, and face the patient away from direct sources of light, such as windows. The Velscope VX handpiece emits a cone of blue light from the ring of blue LEDs situated around the front face of the unit. Position the VX handpiece approximately 3 to 4 inches from the tissue of interest. At distances of approximately 3 inches or less, the beam pattern will create a dark central area. This dark spot results from non-uniform illumination and could be mistaken for a genuine loss of fluorescence. Avoid this by positioning the Velscope VX no closer than 3 inches from the target tissue. Loops have a narrow field of view. If you use loops, we recommend that you first survey the entire mouth using the Velscope VX without magnification to visualize the overall pattern of fluorescence. Loops can then be used to provide a magnified view of a particular area of interest. When using loops, hold the Velscope VX the same distance from the mouth as when viewing without magnification, and then find a comfortable distance from the end of the gray eyepiece that allows you to achieve a focal point at the mucosa. Move your head not the Velscope VX, for focus. During the examination process, full inspection of all mucosal surfaces is necessary and can sometimes be difficult to obtain. Use gauze squares to grip the lateral border of the tongue with one hand and extend the tongue to the opposite side by pulling it laterally toward the corner of the mouth on the opposite side. Or, have the patient extend their tongue as far as possible to the opposite side while using a dental mirror, retractor, or tongue blade to retract the cheek. A similar process is necessary for assessing the entire buccal mucosa by using a dental mirror or other instrument as a retractor, thus allowing direct illumination of the tissue with the Velscope VX. Retraction of the lips to allow full observation of the mucosa of the inner surface of the lip and labial fold can be difficult and may require use of a retractor or mirror. Visual assessment of the oropharynx and soft palate may require use of a dental mirror or tongue blade to retract the tongue during speech 
or when the patient is asked to say ah, ah, ah. The need to retract all of the appropriate tissues is the same whether using white light or the Velscope VX. When using the Velscope VX, however, one hand is occupied holding and maneuvering the scope while the other hand retracts tissue. In difficult circumstances, it may be necessary for the dental assistant or even the patient to assist the examining dentist.